I've never actually tried one of these tangerines. I've never actually tried one of these tangerines off of our tree in the backyard. And I felt like I should do that because they're looking pretty good. This one's a little bit bad. So I'll probably throw that away, but. Mmm, they're pretty good, Megan. The tangerines are pretty good. Right. These are tangerines, right? No. Ooh. Mm -mm. I hate this one. Megan doesn't like fruit. Well, she likes apples and grapes. grapes. Oh, she also likes vegetables. She wanted me to tell you guys that. Is that mold? No, I don't think it is. Well, I should throw it away just to be safe, huh? I got sushi from the grocery store, which I'm hoping it's okay. I'm making peppermint bark for the holiday party that I'm going to tonight, but they didn't have peppermint extract. So it's really just dark chocolate, white chocolate, and then crushed up candy canes on top. So the actual chocolate isn't going to be pepperminty, whatever, it's fine. It'll still taste good. So I know what I'm bringing to the holiday party, but I don't really know what I'm wearing. You would think someone that makes sweaters all the time would have a decent holiday sweater, but I don't. I really messed up this year. I did not plan a holiday sweater and I knew I wasn't planning one, but now I'm just feeling silly for not making one because of all people that should have a good holiday sweater, it should be me. And I'm going to show up wearing, I don't even know what, I guess just like a red top or a green top. I, I, I'm at a loss. I have this feeling like whenever I go to a party or a bigger event that I need to wear something that I made, I always feel that way. I don't feel that way when I'm just hanging out with my friends that I see every day or every other day, but I feel that way when I go to an event with people that I don't know as well, or people that are deemed more important, which is just LA speak for someone with more followers or more money. Doesn't mean that they're more important, but um, that's what that means. Like I don't knit something new for every single party or event I've ever attended because I physically couldn't do that. But in my mind, I should. I should be wearing something that I made every single time I leave the house. But I obviously don't do that because it's impossible. So I don't know why I still have that feeling that I need to do that when I know I literally can't do that. And there have been times where I have stressed myself out over making something to wear to an event when I literally don't have to. I mean, everyone else there is just wearing a top that they bought. I can wear anything else that I own. I can also wear something that I've already made, but in my mind, I have to make something like bigger and better every time I go to something that's like a bigger occasion than just hanging out on a Wednesday night with my friends. So tonight, like I'm going to a holiday party, maybe doing something after. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, you piece of shit, you should have made a Christmas sweater. Also, if anyone's gonna roast me on like how I'm eating my sushi, please don't. you know right now I'm trying to make a bow to put in my hair Ugh. I keep messing up I don't have time to make an entire top but maybe just maybe in the next two hours I could manage to make myself a bow to put in my hair but it's also like go to the fucking store and buy a new top if you want a new top like don't punish yourself by like not having a top to wear and having to wear a top that you don't like as much because you didn't make anything do not treat yourself to a $200 sweater from anthropology because you could easily make a sweater out of the $3 acrylic yarn that you bought from Joann's last 
last week. And it'll take you around three to five days to make, but, but yeah, that's what you should do because why would you buy yourself a nice anthropology sweater? No, don't do that. I wanna make a bow for my hair, but I don't have the kind of yarn that I wanna make it with. I want like a mohair type yarn and I need smaller needles and this is just not working. Logically, I should just give up and wear the red velvet ribbon that I bought, but um, I'm gonna try different needles and different yarn. Somehow I always end up in my bathroom. I hope my toilet doesn't look gross. Like in Tennessee, I always felt safe in my bathroom. There's just something about sitting on the bathroom floor that just like, now I want my hair back up. I'm gonna use the same yarn because it's like the fuzziest white yarn that I have and I want something that's like a little fuzzy. So I'm using the same yarn, but I'm switching to smaller needles. <laughs> oh my God. I hate when that happens. Nothing is going my way today. I'm already forgetting what step I'm on. That looks wrong. We're fine. Now knit a row. Now increase. Now knit a row. <sighs> we are fine. Slip a stitch, increase, slip a stitch, knit a row. I feel like there's enough length on this. I can see what's going on. I guess now that I've calmed down a bit, I can actually talk. Sorry. I don't know why I'm forcing myself to knit this. I just feel like I have so many made up rules in my head. If I have an idea in my mind that like I have to wear something that I've made, then I have to. It's decided. Like if I don't wear something that I made tonight, the world is going to implode. Okay. It's just like a rule that I've decided for this evening. It's so stupid though, because it's not a rule. There was a time before I knit things that I wore to parties and there'll probably be a time after it, so it's not a rule. I've had so many invisible rules over the course of my lifetime that have come and have gone. So this is probably one of those too. I mean, I've had rules before that felt so strict and unbreakable that I no longer follow and the world didn't collapse. When you have a rule, it feels very real in the moment. And then looking back, you're like, that was silly that I thought that that was something that I had to do. But rules that I have now, I never really thought of them as rules until I was like, well, I guess that is kind of a rule that I have. Like, I never thought that this was a rule, but I guess it is a rule because I find myself following it all the time. But like with this, I've never said it out loud to myself or written it down. It's just something that like lives up here that I tell myself, you need to knit something because you're going to something that it's necessary to knit something new for it. And of course, with all self-imposed rules, like they don't make sense. Like what makes a party or an event worth a new knitted top and what makes something not worth a new knitted top? Like there is no criteria. You know, if there is a criteria, it's criteria that only makes sense to me. Sometimes I don't know if the things that I do are rules or just preference. When I finish my first cup of coffee and I go to make a second one, I throw out the old ice and get fresh ice. And it's like, is that a rule that I do that? Or is that just a matter of preference because I don't want my coffee to be watered down? But also I do it every time I make a second cup of coffee. So is that bad? Or is that just something that I like to do? Before I eat dinner with my family, I always go pee. Is that just because I don't want my bladder to be full at the dinner table so I don't get up during the meal? Or is that a rule that I have for myself where I have to empty my bladder before I eat a meal with my family. I don't know. Is it a rule that every time I sit down on the toilet, I have to look at my ingrown hairs? Or is that just because it's easily accessible and I just like picking ingrown hairs? One that I've realized in recent weeks that makes me hate myself is that every time I go to Starbucks, I have to pay with a Starbucks gift card. Even if there's no money on it, I get on the app and I reload the Starbucks gift card because I have to pay with the app. I can't pay with just my normal credit card. And the reason as to why I do that, in the event that I earn enough stars on the app that I get to save 65 cents to add the vanilla syrup to whatever coffee I'm ordering, that makes it all worth it. The possibility of saving 65 cents. I've honestly never redeemed Starbucks stars. So why does it matter? It genuinely makes no difference, but I will stand there at the register, reloading the gift card, waiting to pay for that, as opposed to just saving every one time and just paying with my normal credit card. But I can't help it. That one really actually makes me embarrassed and mad. And I don't do it that often because I don't go to Starbucks that often. But like the other day I went to the Starbucks inside the Target and I did that. I don't know how long to make it slant. I mean, eventually I'm gonna go straight up. You know how when you have a ribbon and you cut it on like a slant so it doesn't fray as much? I want this to be slanted and then go up. Oh, this is feeling really fucking huge. Whatever, I'm really, I'm in too deep. I just gotta keep going. What's that character from Powerpuff Girls? It looks like the evil guy is oh, claw. Mojo Jojo, no. The other one. No, the lobster, like the, the yeah. lobster hands. It looks like a lobster hand. Megan thinks it looks like a sperm. Yeah, like that's going in for fertilization. Well, it's kind of a lopsided head. Well, okay, then the dad doesn't have great sperm count. He probably has a poor diet and um, probably bad genetics. I mean, maybe he's just old, you know, he's 
worn out. Young wife. You think that's my husband's sperm? No, oh. no, I didn't mean that. So this section is what you would tie around in a knot and then this little flap would hang down. So I'm trying to see if this is enough length to tie a knot. I need a different hairband besides this scrunchie. Picture there being another flap on the other side. Oh fuck, Megan just got in the shower. That means it's... Oh, I need to get going. I mean, it's gonna look kind of wacky because I'm tying it while it's not even done yet. Oh yeah, that's enough length. See that? See the knot? And then if I start the other flap? How does that look? Loki, I might have killed this. Oh wait. Yeah. What? I think this is good. I just need to finish it, get dressed, do my makeup, break up my peppermint bar, put it in Tupperware, and drive to Patricia's. I can do all of that. ribbon. Maybe I would talk to her. Maybe not. It's kind of up in the air as to if she's like an interesting person or not and if she's worth my time. With this bow, people are going to ask me if I made it. Oh my god, hard as a rock. <gasps> Shit. It looks great though. Like winded. Look how pretty they are. Look how pretty it is against the pink tile. Wait, turn this light up. Oh, actually, that looks kind of depressing. I wish I had the peppermint extract so I could actually like see the difference. It's really good though, but more than it tasting good, it's actually just so pretty. I love the way peppermint bark looks. It might fit perfectly. Or it might be just a little too much. Okay. If anybody ever wondered what my handwriting looks like, not bad, but also not anything great. Just perfectly in the middle. For the record, I don't stand by this painting. I just took it because it was a big canvas and I want to paint over it. And I thought if I hung it and had to look at an ugly painting every day, maybe I would be more inclined to just paint over it. Um, but it's been up there for a couple of weeks and I still haven't painted over it. Just ignore it. I don't want to take it down. That feels like lying and I don't really want to lie. I could wear these shoes, which, you know, these are just like my going out booties that I wear everywhere. Honestly, everything looks awful. I think I'm just gonna wear my loafers. How does that look? Probably not great. Well, it is what it is. The bow was a hit, so my confidence is fine until the next party.